So today I just want to share with everybody my homemade hockey practicing area. Um, watched some videos on YouTube, kind of copied some ideas, came up with my own ideas too. Threw them all together and kind of did my own thing. Uh, I got a practice pad here, a rebounder, and then also a goal. I'll start out with the goal first. This is actually a soccer goal. I got it from a rummage for like ten dollars. Uh, it's four feet wide by three and a half feet tall, uh, with one and a quarter inch piping. Actually holds up pretty good. You can see down here it's starting to bend a little. A lot of shots, but like I said, it holds up good. Um, the netting actually I got from an army surplus store for like fifteen bucks. And obviously it doesn't fit, but it holds the pucks back, so that's all I care about. And that actually holds up pretty good too. Just got some Velcro holding it around the bottom and on the top and on the sides. So Then we'll go back over here to the practice pad. This practice pad actually is a piece of like laminate sheeting over a piece of plywood that's like an inch thick. I actually got it out of a semi trailer at work the paneling inside it's really slippery it works really great actually it's 60 inches long by 38 inches wide so and uh, actually fly pretty good on it the rubber ones are a little bit iffy sometimes um, but the green biscuit and the snipe actually work pretty good I actually use uh, car wax to coat it instead of pledge. Uh, a lot of people I see or know it use pledge or some other wood product, but um, car wax actually lasts longer, seems, and it makes it really slippery. So it actually needs a new coat. Uh, and then last, I have a uh, puck rebounder here. Obviously went with the bungee cords like a lot of videos I've seen on YouTube um, they're actually 36 inch bungee cords and the unit itself I think is like 34 inches but to accommodate you know I wrapped them around like I've seen it before I actually like I said I gotta readjust these it kind of that's why I got a piece of velcro around here holding it so they don't go inside pucks and then uh, what I do like about this unit though, is I threw these hinges on here. So if I want to just use the practice pad by itself, just undo them. And then uh, you can take it off there. So that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, hopefully you guys liked the video. If not, that's cool too, whatever. Um, feel free to leave comments or ask questions if you want. Um, I guess thanks for watching.